students, welcome to English 105 in fall 2018. I'm your teacher, Amy Blau Little, and this is the cutest TA ever. Um, I have a new baby boy, and uh, I thought you might want to meet him and see uh, who's behind the screen here. So, um, yeah, he uh, hangs out with me sometimes while I make my videos, but for the most part he's being watched while I do my working and grading, but I thought he would say hi today. So I'm really excited to have you in this course. Um, I do go over a little bit about the theme of the course in the syllabus, so you'll want to check that, the syllabus video, so you want to check that out as well. But in a nutshell, English 105 is 101 and 102 smushed together in an honors course. It is an accelerated course, so I hope that you're ready to work and learn and have a good time. So I usually don't do themed courses. I tried out a themed course for this class last semester, or sorry, last year, last fall, and it worked really well. I actually got um, an award for um, a couple of the assignments that I had in the themed course, and so I thought it went really well. Students really responded well to it, and even though I don't do themed courses hardly ever because they're a lot of work, um, I decided I was going to bring back this themed course again. And the course theme is fact checking and author vetting and trying to combat fake news in a post truth era. So I think when I talk about fake news, um, a lot of times people kind of roll their eyes and they think, oh my gosh, this again, um, I'm so over this, this is old, old news, fake news is old news. Um, and I, I actually don't think that that's true and I'm going to kind of take you through my thought process here. So in 2016, there was a study done, um, Stanford researchers found out that Students can't tell the difference from fake news and real news. And it isn't just, um, you know, young people, like young students. They surveyed almost 8,000 students from all different schools, from all different ages, from, you know, Ivy League colleges all the way down to, you know, Title I um, high schools and things like that. And most middle school students can't tell ads from articles. High school students accept images and photos as truth, no matter what it is. And even college students can't find the bias or um, can't tell if an author really knows what they're talking about. So that was back in 2016. And I'm going to link these articles in the description box below so you can check them out if you'd like. Um, but that was in 2016. So part of me is like, well, maybe things have gotten better. Maybe, maybe you know, education has gotten better, maybe we figured it out a little bit. Unfortunately, um, in May of this year, another study says, nope, we still have this problem. So uh, even though I did this course last year, I, I think it's still absolutely relevant. Um, they're still doing studies saying that people can't tell. Um, people can't tell what's real and what's not anymore. Um, people's identify ability to identify fake news and their motivation to seek out reliable sources has significantly decreased. Um, so this is this is a problem. Um, sometimes we just want things to be true, so we think that they are. Um, this another one, um, an MIT study that was um, that was talked about in March of this year. So just a couple months ago. Fake news and false rumors reach more people and penetrate deeper into the social network and spread much faster than accurate stories. So even if you can tell the difference between real and fake, the amount of news out there that's getting read by people, the majority that's out there is going to be fake that's being spread around. So if you want something to go viral, make it fake. Um, and that's concerning. That's really, really concerning, okay? Um, and there are big implications for this. So a study suggests that, you know, fake news and what's put out there can actually have political ramifications. So some people think that perhaps that's what 
you know, influenced the 2016 election. If you want something a little bit more recent, um, Governor Ducey's reelection campaign has a bunch of fake Twitter accounts. It's bad, you guys. Um, if you hadn't heard about this, you need to look into it. It's it's amazing it, and scary at the same time. So there's a bunch of people, um, like a guy from the UK um, was featured in Governor Ducey's reelection campaign as like a stock photo of someone who's like, I support Governor Ducey. And they pulled this photo of this guy who's never even heard of, of Governor Ducey. So again, um, this just happened in June of this year. Um, yeah, it's still happening. I, I think it's still really relevant. And if you don't believe me, um, again, June of this year, we're still seeing the term fake news tossed around in, in politics, in popular culture. It's still happening. Um, and one last article that I wanted to share with you, and this was in July of this year, so just a couple weeks ago, um, the Cronkite News School did a study that shows that one in five Americans associate the word fake with news. So if I just said, what's the first word you think of when I say fake? People are going to say news. You know, um, and what's interesting is they find that the study found that local news um, people tend to think that local news is more credible and that mainstream news is the fake news. Um, so that's interesting. That's something that we need to think about, something that we need to talk about. So in this class, we will be um, having three major writing assignments um, where you will analyze a fake news article of your choice where you will write your own fake news article about a true event that actually happened. And then um, kind of the more traditional assignment here is a mini research paper where you will take um, sources, both real and fake, and create an argument persuading your target audience to do something or think something or um, take action. So I hope that you will enjoy this class. Um, if you want to take a look at those articles, I will provide links for you. Um, and I hope that you learn a lot and that we have a great semester together. So say bye, baby.